Before we start looking at circles, there are a few things that we want to point out. And the first one is if we start at the centre of a circle and work our way in a straight line to the edge of the circle, that line is called the radius. The radius goes from the centre of the circle all the way out to the edge. A line going through the centre of the circle that goes from one side to the other is called a diameter. And the diameter you can see is one radius plus another radius in one straight line. So the diameter is twice the size of the radius. And thirdly, we need to know that the circumference is the fancy mass name for the distance around the outside of a circle. The circumference is like the perimeter of the circle. There's a very important link between the circumference of a circle and its diameter. And that link is that the circumference is pi times its diameter. Pi is a very important number that we represent by a Greek letter. And it's roughly equal to 3. But we can be even more precise than that. It's roughly equal to 3.14. But even better than that, most calculators have a button on it labelled pi. And when we use pi in any calculations, we tend to use the pi button on our calculator. If you don't have a calculator, we usually use 3.14 as an estimate. So here's an example of a question where we're asked to find the circumference of a circle. And you'll notice we're given the line across the middle of the circle. So we know what the diameter is. So the first thing I'm going to write down is this formula, c equals pi d. And like any formula, we're going to fill in what we know. So c is equal to pi times 5. And often when you put that into some of the newer calculators, you'll see the answer comes up as c equals 5 pi. But many of the calculators have a button s to d on it. And if we press that button, it should give us it as a decimal. And you'll see that the answer comes up as 15.7 centimetres. And we should usually round that to three significant figures. So here's another example where we're asked to find the circumference of a circle. But you'll notice this time slightly different because this time we're just given the radius of the circle. The radius is 6 metres in this case. And our formula involves the diameter. But we know that the radius is half of the diameter. So if the radius is 6, the diameter must be 12. Once we know what the diameter is, then we can start by writing our formula down again. C is equal to pi d. The circumference is pi times the diameter. And let's now fill it in. The circumference is pi times 12. And again, that might come up in your calculator as an answer of 12 pi. But if you press the S to D button, it'll come up as a decimal. And you'll see that C is equal to 37.7. And again, that's in metres, because our radius and diameter were measured in metres. I can check my answer using mental maths. Knowing that pi is roughly about 3, let's check it out. 3 times 12 is 36. My answer is 37.7. That's pretty close, and I can be confident it's correct. Now it's over to you. I want you to try and work out what the circumferences of the following circles are. Make sure you show all you're working out, including starting by writing the formula each time c equals pi d. When you're ready, just pause the video, and once you've got all the answers, start it again to find out if you're correct. So how did you get on? Look out for the next in the series, Circles 2, where we'll be talking about how to find the area of a circle.